All right, welcome back to OD5. This is Chris coming at you. Coming at you with a bit of an unboxing today. Um, I've been really inspired by the fishing that I've been doing with uh, Gulp as of late. So um, I went to my favorite place again. <laughs> Seems like online anyway. Uh, Dick Sporting Goods. And I picked up some things here. And I'm not sure all of what's in this box. So uh, let's find out together. Alright, so box successfully cut open. A little elbow grease there to pop that last piece of tape. Alright, brown paper. Alright, so I can see what's in here is actually my little uh, container that I'm going to be using for my storage. Um, so double sided, Plano. So this will be a, a, a nice little addition. Uh, the one that I have has uh, seen a better day. Um, and has served well, but um, you know this will actually help me keep my gulp baits nice and fresh. And then what I have here actually is a Miro lure. Um, what I'm finding out, or at least you know, I've been talking to some different folks, and you know, as I'm, I've been on the hunt, you know, for the speckled trout. I'm finding that it seems like there is a theme with the color purple, and I don't mean the movie. <laughs> I just had to say that. Oh, anyway, so but but really, um, there seems like there's a theme with the color purple. So let me know if you're having success catching speckled trout with lures that have the purple color in them. And this is, of course, is a Miro uh, lure here, and um, you know it actually is a sinking, twitching bait. So um, I'm looking forward to actually throwing that and um, seeing how, you know, we may be able to get some some speckled trout in our bucket or cooler that way. So, and also I'd be interested in knowing, you know, how you tie them, um, you know, and whether you put a, you know, a weight on them, you know, maybe a little fluorocarbon lead with, a, you know, a quarter ounce weight or anything like that. Um, I'd be interested in hearing some of your different techniques and, you know, how you've been successful. So hit me down in the comment box. And then we also have here. We have another Amiro lure, and um, this one is also this is a suspending uh, twitching bait. You know, so uh, this one again, you can see that we are, again have the purple theme going. So uh, this is what I'm looking at, and uh, this is just one box. Um, another box is uh, on the way, so this did not have everything in it that I was anticipating. Um, was also have some uh, some additional gulp baits and some other stuff like that. So we'll unbox that one when it comes as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. And, and then this is very interesting. <laughs> they sent me a bag that would have jig heads in it that has nothing in it. Um, so uh, actually, part of my order did get canceled. Um, I don't know if they put this in here to remind me that it got canceled. But um, literally, <laughs> there's a hole in the bag. All right, so somebody from Dick Sporting Goods, if you're watching this, <laughs> what's up with my jig heads? All right, so uh, we'll check into that and get back to you. So again, I would like to hear how you're using these types of lures, um, how you're tying them, what kind of a knot you like, and um, you know whether you're putting a weight on them. And again, for the most part, I'll probably be throwing these uh, in the surf and um, possibly also from a pier and maybe a dock. I'm thinking of some different spots that I'll probably go after the um, speckled trout in as the temperature starts to cool a bit. So I'm um, definitely, again, always looking to learn from you and um, hopefully you pick up a thing or two from me as we go along. But um, let's talk about it in the comment box. And um, as always, be kind to the fish.